Hello and welcome back to The Last Spell. Um, so I just want to address a couple things before I begin. Um, my series tend to not do well, but I don't really do them for, you know, to, to progress the channel necessarily because I know they're not going to do well. Um, but I, I, you know, I just want to like underline, you know, if you're not super into The Last Spell, I don't know if you're watching this. I don't know why you would be watching this if you're not into The Last Spell, but if you are watching this um, because it's something I've uploaded other than the content that you you actually want from me, I uh, do know that I mostly do these for fun and I need that. You know, I just kind of need to do things for, for my own enjoyment sometimes. So if you are into the last spell, I, I guess I'd like to do a small call to arms of like, you know, hey, um, it would actually really kind of help me out to uh, hit the, the like and subscribe stuff. And I, I hate doing this, but I'm, I'm asking because um, you know, I do want to be able to do other things, um, than just the things that people ask me to do all the time, if that makes sense. Like, I want to do variety. That's really all I'm saying. It's like a very long and short form for saying, like, I want to be able to do variety and be able to do uh, a series other than, uh, like, the mainstays. So, with all of that out of the way, like, I'm, 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 I just want to be clear, I'm, like, doing that as genteely as I possibly can, but uh, I don't tend to ask for those kind of things. But either way, I, I'm, we're going to be doing this. I'm not committing to doing the entire game, but um, I am committing to doing it as long as I can. And uh, if you enjoy The Last Spell, please, uh, you know, help, help support this series. And that'll guarantee it, it, more of it gets done. Um, all right, so we're moving on from the tutorial. We're going to be doing Gildenberg at the very least. Select omens before starting a run to increase the strength of your heroes. I did get a nice comment about uh, the tutorial, by the way, like um, the meta progression is, is a little bit tamer in this. It's more like unlocking uh, complexity than it is about unlocking or, or uh, increasing your attributes so that the game is easier. Um, so I, I do appreciate that. I do appreciate that when meta progression is kind of treated like almost like the um, training wheels in a way. Uh, it's to kind of get you used to the system so that can introduce more systems. I appreciate that. Select omens before starting the run. Okay, so let's let's uh, customize our omens. Uh, each haven has a restriction on how many omens you can select. Some omens will take more slots than others, but have stronger effects. You can change your selected omens between runs, so experiment with them and find the combinations that you like. Okay, you, you, you hear that? Once I find the ones that I like, I'm not changing them ever again. <laughs> Tainted essence gains are increased. Okay. Well, okay, we... Mm, uh, move, more move points would be kind of nice. I do like the mana. Mana is so nice to be able to use those very powerful abilities. Um, I wouldn't mind more move points, but I tend to find that uh, my my most powerful units or uh, uh, don't want to move around a lot. So and and there's also you you gain a little bit of a movement bonus in the beginning because you can um, you know just kind of pick better placement for the heroes that need to be out front. Boundless mode allows to bypass the usual restrictions on omen selection. Whether you want to adjust the difficulty uh, to your liking or go crazy and play a run with an otherwise impossible combination, you can now exceed the normal. Oh, that's kind of nice. I appreciate that. Uh, I'll be playing, you know, normal mode, but... Uh... Yeah, I mean, this is like the first... I don't know if this is like the very, very first time I've played like a... Uh, a very roguelite heavy game uh, on the channel. I tend to, you know, stray away from or stay away from them. I, I like the, the roguelikes. Um, I definitely like, like the traditional roguelikes because they're very strict in how they, um, you know, dole out mechanics. It's like all right away. And uh, I do, you know, sometimes I like to j jump into the deep end. But um, I, I I really liked this game. I liked the execution of it, and I liked the the flavor, and I liked the mechanics. It was just like a win win win. So we can see um, where our the the next horde is coming in. It looks like I don't know if uh, these are going to be hatching into something I am going to have to deal with, but it, it, that that could be something new. Um, so buildings and defenses can be constructed here. Uh, we want to place our dudes first. So we have uh, we have new dudes. We can say good. I, I don't know. Could, yeah, Alicia. We have Alicia Rig Rigoberto. I don't know how to say that. And uh, oh man, I keep misclicking here. And Jess. So Jess is sword and board. 
uh rigoberto seems to be a spell and hammer user and um i'm still misclicking which is great and then uh, alicia is a ranged user so let's go ahead and put uh rigoberto and jess up front like this and we'll keep uh, alicia in the back but you know still pretty forward and um i don't know can we this deployment i don't know if we can do do we do we get a construction phase yet doesn't seem like it we got our omens and phase let's do it which gods will we pray to tonight so they don't necessarily come in where you think they're going to come in and we don't have a lot of room for um wow okay yeah this is this is interesting okay so let's um let's see if maybe maybe if i you can undo your move before you use a spell right so uh let's see we we actually have pretty good positioning here so we can move her there and then um let's we could do like a rain of arrows uh let's see if we can get a, a nice rain of arrows off i actually feel like tight volley will be better here because that's almost like fully going off whereas the rain of arrows is not so much and we did kill quite a few of them right away so let's uh let's move her there and we're gonna just go ahead and kill this guy and he's only at 100 health yet she is doing 109 to 129 which is really nice it's like a guaranteed kill um we can move her over there the the only thing uh okay you know what well hmm. i do worry about uh moving our guys too aggressively forward but uh she's okay there um i'm wondering does anyone have a transfer we have evasion stomp i don't think we have a spellcaster so we've got two melee users this time which is interesting um let's just move her back a little bit and you know just to make the most of her movement and uh, same for him let's move him forward um she's already moved as much as she can we can use her straight arrows though just to maybe get a couple extra kills here you definitely want to make the most of your turn and uh that'll do it at the return yay even more playmates now i do wonder um it, it shows you like the uh the range of like a you know all of the enemies but i found i have found more often than not it's not true that uh, actually there are other hidden enemies that um you know are are, are gonna get in and, and make some attacks and i do i do wonder about that is that uh, is that something i can figure out is that something i'm not um you know i i don't yet know about uh i wonder we're gonna do a rain of arrows that was a nice set of uh of arrows guess they couldn't handle my style <laughs> getting my money's worth um okay oh this is a good opportunity for a crush We'll possibly get a couple kills there. Nice. And uh, let's go ahead and kill this lad here. Kill. And uh, we still have some movement and quite a bit. You know what? This is a, another good opportunity for a crush. Crush. Oof. But, uh, oh, you know what? This That's perfect. We can get in there and, and do our last kill. That guy had one health left. It's It sucks to have to, you know, play, do, play with that. Uh, we, okay, so we have magic missiles bash uh oh we do have a transfer oh gosh i did i made that mistake last time di too didn't i let's um since he has a bash but he i feel like this guy's going to be more valuable as a magic user than as a melee user so um she has one action point left let's go ahead and throw an evasion on her so she's hopefully going to have a better chance to avoid some skills or uh, some attacks i mean um let's see magic missiles is uh, good for kind of setting up some kills not so good for actually getting kills same for the sort of democles so i don't know maybe let's let's do uh, magic missiles and then uh throw out some sort of democles just to just to ensure some kills and that's going to do it um does she yeah she has uh we haven't actually used our, our archer all that much so let's move her over and get that last kill over there um our threat range is okay but i think if we kill this um one dude here 
then no it's still it's not not ideal honestly um our, our friend here is is in the, the the threat range we don't have a transfer because we've used up all of our action points on our mage so let's just go ahead and um i'll just we'll just use up her action points for the ranger and she's going to be possibly taking some hits and i'm just going to have to be okay with that missed okay that uh that worked out well um i'm a little bit worried about these guys on the left on the uh, sorry the right side here I, I really don't want um any of these lads to sneak through if i can avoid it i do let's uh let's do like a tight volley this is a good tight volley here nice um and uh what i'll do is I'll, i think i'll move over here we can always uh, undo that move i just want to make sure that i can kill these guys over here so we'll do okay mm, that was not ideal these are both not ideal um unfortunate maybe i should have done um i guess i can't undo that i should have done power shots instead power shots would have been a guaranteed kill that was my bad and that is going to be a uh, learning <laughs> a, a, a moment of learning for me but that's okay because we can um use magic missiles maybe to uh well he doesn't have line of sight unfortunately so he's not going to reach that guy we can let them live for now whoops let's uh just kill these four lads and um let's also i'm going to use up uh, jess's turn just so that i don't have to overthink things too much does she have a yeah she does have a stomp so she could move here and what i'm thinking is um she gets like gets her hands real dirty here and uh we're gonna go ahead and kill this lad and then move in and use a stomp hopefully well that's not as good as i was thinking it would be that's fine um she's got plenty of movement but i kind of don't want to be too aggressive too too aggressive um hmm how do we do this you know what let's just like move her here get a bash off and then uh, move her back oh she's actually in the threat range there oof that's fine um let's see if we can't get a couple of extra kills here what do we have here transfer we do have transfer um and we also have a bash the bash is a guarantee kill so let's go ahead and use that on this lad and then we can use our la uh actually you know what screw it let's just use oh we don't have another bash okay so let's undo that move last movement and we'll just use a couple of sort of democles to uh kill this lad and then move back a little bit um actually before we move back why don't we use up our last spell no not that last spell okay um okay we'll move her back move him back i mean and uh I think this is fine. Everyone is sort of out of threat range. Now I say that, but you know, things, things can happen. Surprises can happen. Looks like we're, um, just about, uh, like seeing the, the end of the number of zombies here. Um, all right. So we could do a tight volley. I think a tight volley would be a good idea. Let's just compare with the rain of arrows. Yeah. The rain of arrows, the rain of arrows is, um, is really good if you can get like the full, attack off but um and it also does more damage it must be said but it also uses up more mana i think that the tight volley is um generally going to be better because it is a higher chance that you're going to make like use it to the fullest it's its fullest potential now i just want to kill this guy because he's really just like kind of a problem um let's do another oh we can't do more than one tight volley per turn so I guess we could do a, a Reign of Arrows, but I am a little bit cognizant of the fact that th that would be using up a lot of uh, mana. Almost, um, let's do like a power shot just to get rid of this guy. Can we do another one of those? We can. If I move her left one, then we can get this guy killed as well. Take this. All right, cool. Um, 
the the power shot i don't think it uses up any more action yeah it doesn't use any up any more action points than the straight arrows so you may as well use them if you have the opportunity because they're basically guaranteed kills um now this lad we have a couple of kills we can uh that we've lined up for him we can uh kill these three lads just right away i actually think um moving left one would be better because then we can kill that guy too and that means his ma magic missiles is going to kill four zombies perfect um before i use up the rest of his turn i'm going to go ahead and uh set up some stuff for jess jess is going to do a uh a crush over here didn't kill that second lad so that's uh kind of a problem let's uh let's do a stomp over here mm, yeah actually that's not bad um if she takes a step forward she could she could get a couple of extra kills here i don't like that necessarily the bash is really honestly it's ideal for um like killing zombies at full health so it's not a great situation when you're using it to finish off zombies i am going to be calling these guys zombies basically forever by the way um that's that's just going to be how it goes unfortunately um so we have three action points left so i could use magic missiles but i don't like that necessarily so we could either use three sort of demacles or one magic missiles i I feel like the magic missiles will be better off let's just do we'll throw two on that guy and then these two reason being is that one was the closest to jess and i think she's out of range of uh, uh out of the threat range now which is nice we can throw uh one last um sort of demacles on this guy just to, just to finish him off and we'll move him back because he's in the threat range and uh i think everything's pretty good this is good now remember there's like plenty of more plenty more stuff to to be concerned about um you know it, you, this is the kind of game where you think you're out of uh out of the tunnel and uh it turns out there's there's quite a bit more tunnel left now i wouldn't mind moving her I, like i see a good power shot or i don't know a couple power shots here actually i guess I, either way I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna be missing two zombies that's fine let's just go ahead and actually you know what let's compare let's see the maybe this is a good reign of arrows opportunity uh it doesn't really look like it to be honest yeah oh well, that's not bad that's not bad let's do that nice that's actually pretty good and we can also do a, a tight volley there and we can even use our last action point to kill this dude that's actually amazing um let's use a bash to take out this guy you can this guy can only use one bash so he's he gets one guaranteed kill basically and so we can use a uh, two sword of demacles to kill that one and then we're good we're done this this stench it smells something smells fishy all right that was that was good s i always feel kind of weird when i'm being graded by a game another night survived yes soul harvest night survivor murderer a hero killed 20 enemies no time to waste let's get through night one of gildenberg all right cool we're gonna want to build some stuff uh it looks like some stuff is what was what, what, happening here at the end of the night, corpse piles can appear in places where many foes died. Use workers to scavenge them for resources, resources, items, and tainted essence. The bigger the pile, the bigger the rewards. Corpse, corpses also have a bigger chance of appearing near or inside the haven. Okay. Um, I'm a little bit worried, or I, I kind of wonder if these things can potentially become uh, more zombies, which I am not a huge fan of. Um, we definitely want to do whatever we can to get some more workers going. You have enough tainted essence for a trade. Oh, yeah? Oh, you can do this, like, mid-mission? Oh, I didn't know that. Welcome to the Araculum, Commander. I don't understand. Are you lost, little lamb? Are you confused? Let me enlighten you, then. Your dying world's echoes reverberate endlessly through the cosmos. You just left one echo for another. 
You see, the drama has not only wreaked havoc upon this sphere, realities have been twisted, mixed. Your runic nexus has suffered massive damage. You and I are now bound by imperious forces. Um, excuse me, uh, sir and or madam, you are not actually clarifying the situation. You are, in, in fact, making it far less uh, transparent. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. So get me that tainted essence quick. It's for your own good, my dear. You understand? No, less less than ever, actually. Uh, mana, health. Do these, uh, do these uh, give like improve those um those I forget what they were called. Things, <laughs> the things you know the things, um that I unlocked unlocks heroes have plus three mana. I wonder if I unlock if I if I improve this. Does that mean that now uh, my heroes have extra mana right away because I picked that as one of my things? <laughs> my things, you know? <laughs> New items can now appear in your run. Um, yeah. Oh. What? Huh? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Uh, well, we can... Let's, let's unlock some swords. Why not? Sure back and can we do stuff on this side as well no we are we, we're we're our, our progress here is surviving gildenberg okay well that's interesting i didn't know that you could improve your meta progression between like in the middle of a mission uh granted i mean i guess we're between combats but uh, still it's it's a little bit interesting let's go ahead and level up our heroes um jess is a fisherman opportunism uh, and ac extra accuracy less magic damage so we don't want to uh make her damaging she is cruel she gets plus six percent critical she has less daily regen and less resistance so she's kind of a um, she's not so much a, a damage sponge but uh, we can improve her accuracy and we could improve her damage let's go ahead and do that that's an uncommon so i'm assuming that's a better upgrade than than normal and we can improve her stun chance. That seems like a good one. Yeah, that seems really cool. Um, well, we could also inc improve her critical power. Since she has a better... I don't know if she has... Is this a 6% critical chance or 6% critical damage? Those are two different concepts and they are not interchangeable. Let's do stun chance. I, I like that idea. Um, all right, and then we'll do a perk. Unlocks a fatality skill, allowing you to execute any enemy in melee range under 10 health. This threshold is increased by 3 for each level of the hero. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Because she, so she could just, like, finish off a bunch of enemies that I've set up um, from, like, the, the, the magician, right? Finish off enemies that are almost dead. You're pretty much doing them a favor. Targets 1. Melee. Limited per turn unlimited unlimited execution power and then she has more mana gain steady aim as long as the hero didn't move during this turn extra accuracy plus one skill range Ooh, that's interesting but this is a i don't know if she doesn't really have ranged ability she uses a hammer quick reload that doesn't mean much upgrade the jump over skill i like this fatality i think this is a good one for her and I'll go ahead and tentatively uh, stab that mana growth because that could be good. I always like mana growth for anyone in this game. I think that basically everyone is a, should should have some. Um, we could massively improve the health of Alicia or dodge value, which seems kind of cool. Definitely, I think that health is a better... Like, I'd rather go for something hard and, and sure, like uh, health, than uh, the potential to take no damage. She has better health regen. Oh, th that means that health is even better for her. Um, and better healing re uh, received. And But she takes more physical damage. So definitely, I think health is going to be good for her. <clears throat> she has a backstabber. Uh, plus 20% isolation. I'm not sure what that means. I wish I could get a clarification on that. I'm not sure how I would do that. Let's take health. I think that that would be good. Plus one skill range. That could be really good for her. She is the bowman. So this would be very good. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. Nudist. No body armor. Plus two move points. So she can't take body armor. That's interesting. As long as the hero didn't move during this turn, plus 10% accuracy and plus one skill range. I think that that is actually really good for her. 
uh this is in melee range yeah let's go for steady aim i, I I'm, I'm interested to see how that works uh we'll look at quick reload in the future we'll look at cheer in the future um we'll look at these later i don't want to take too much time uh in each of these like sessions like doing progression i am gonna try and do things properly obviously but you know like i i, I just i'm cognizant of how much um you know people want to see this kind of thing so this guy has less damage but more health and more regen more dodge more accuracy he's actually got two perks which is interesting uh and like basically no downsides uh i'm definitely go going to increase his damage because uh we'll be offsetting his only negative and uh we could do ga damn uh, experience gain that seems really good i don't know what stun chance hold on uh modifier applied to the chances of successfully stunning the target only Affects skills with the stun effect. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have taken that with the other one because I don't know if I do have stun chance Chance to apply stun preventing any action for the entire turn monsters do not generate panic while stunned Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, definitely I think daily mana regen is going to be good because I want to well He's only got the magic missile and the, the problem with the magic missile is it actually uses up quite a lot. It, it, it's, it's two action points to use. So I actually don't think it's that good um, for, for the mage, ironically. Um, increases the minimum damage on an attack. 100%. Okay, you know what? Reliability, that seems like really good. We definitely want to be doing a guaranteed amount of damage. Unlocks a sprint skill every four enemies killed, including poison kills, plus one daily mana regen. Mm. Every two attacks from the hero dodged by at least one unit restore one action point. Interesting. I don't know if that actually works for him. Uh, kind of like cheer. Let's just take cheer. I'd say, you know, I'd rather have guaranteed damage. So we get a uh, knight reward. Wait, what do we get? Fur pants. This is more armor and more accuracy and more health. Uh, uncommon pants. We have a rare, I think, uh, wooden short bow. This will do poison damage and critical damage. This is really nice, I think. Um, let's we we for that we want to look at Alicia. Ooh, comparing it, it looks like it's exactly the same, but it's going to be doing poison damage. Remember. So it could be that we could set up some kills and then they would actually die from the poison damage right away. Um, range damage is inaccurate. Increasing the target's dodge the further they are. The penalty is applied before accuracy. I'm not sure if I understand how that works. Okay, and we have an epic nasal helmet. Uh, or nacelle. Propagation damage. Not sure what that means. Plus five mana, extra resistance, extra health, extra daily health regen. Um, hmm. Next skill, what is this? Oh, I see. This just lets you like look through the skills on each of these. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because this short bow, even though it's rare, it doesn't actually seem to have all that much. Like it's got extra poison damage. That's nice. Um. So I'm not sure, but like, does does it does that mean plus ten percent poison damage onto a skill that is using poison damage? So like, do I have to you know, is it like poison damage not included? It just increases the stuff that you have. I think I'd rather go with a helmet. Um, I'll, I'll maybe figure out some of these other things later. Uh, and who was it that was a a, a nudist? Because I think that um they should have this helmet because it means that um. They have a very good helmet, and they don't need body armor, hopefully. So we still have more stuff to do. We need to buy... We could buy some more gear. We could build some defenses. Assign them to buildings. Yeah, we need to assign some workers, but um, this is this is uh, quite a lot of stuff we got to do. Um, I wouldn't mind destroying some of this stuff. Uh, we could destroy some of this stuff and get some gold or materials. Um... How does one build build new structures? I'm curious about this. So this costs money. So I think it, for now we could use more money. So let's go ahead and destroy this well for money. I think I may have selected the wrong one, unfortunately. Why did I do that? Uh, we can upgrade this house expansion. Increases your workers by one. I think that that's definitely something that's going to uh, help us long term. 
and salvages 28 gold and 28 materials from the ruins destroying them yeah uh, we definitely want money so let's go ahead and salvage that so we used up the last of our workers and this is going to be like a very much we're setting up for a long-term game if maybe if i got the sense that things were a bit more urgent then i might dedicate more workers to uh something else um let's seek uh let's build something build new structures i wouldn't mind building a mana well or temple permanently increases max health for all heroes every protection phase <clears throat> can restore some health to heroes during production phase uh we've got a nice chunk of change now well, what is this shop grants the ability to buy or sell items during production phase well we already have a shop i think yeah we already do um do we need mana we could do with some mana yeah let's let's do let's do a mana well and um we'll do a uh, benediction that's going to give everyone some well no not everyone some people some mana and uh let's use some uh, of our gold to buy some stuff buy some gear so what do we have here uh less man armor more healing receives more mana more critical um short bow how can we are we able to compare uh compare gear okay this is a i appreciate this uh interface here so the short bow is actually a plus one short bow it's actually going to do more damage <clears throat> so why don't we yeah let's let's go ahead and buy the short bow um more critical power more dodge and i think it comes with that brace so it comes with a skill so this seems like a really good piece of armor and then we have an offhand hammer um interesting we could maybe look at giving that to uh jess maybe not she has a shield so i, I since this is an offhand hammer i don't know if it can we can like have it replace her normal wet hammer this is a rusty hammer it's actually less damage uh i guess the only person who uses an offhand hammer hammer is uh rigoberto yeah, he uses an offhand hammer, and I think that it's, this is exactly the same, so never mind on that. Uh, let's just keep it at this. We want to keep some money for the future. So um, what we'll do now is we're going to go ahead and look. Uh, we're going to equip some stuff. So I think, who was it that had dot, a brace? Um, No, not Bra uh, Jess? Jess? Jess can wear armor. Right now she has more move points, which is not bad. I thought she couldn't wear armor. No, that's uh, that's not Jess. That's Alicia, right? Um, well, first of all, let's put um, the short bow in, in uh, Alicia's hands so that she's got a better short bow. And then let's... Um, I'm not sure. You know, this is good because she's already got dodge so this is just a straight up improvement on what she's using cool um now we need to build some defenses we don't have to but i think it's probably beneficial to do so oh you can only build the defenses like over here um okay well let's do that then we'll just kind of fill in these gaps all right works for now we will get some more defenses later. Uh, I don't think that there's anything else we have to do right now. So let's just make sure that everyone is in the right spot. Now, the thing is, is it says this, this arrow is a little bit misleading because um, it, it implies that that's where the mutants are going to be. But they could actually be coming in over here or they could be coming in over here. So you do have to be a little bit, um, maybe spread yourself out a little bit. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I, my temptation is to like have everyone kind of bunched up in the middle and that way they can move over once I, you know, once I've gauged the situation a little bit. I didn't have anyone touch these, uh, corpses. I don't know what's going to happen with these, with these corpses. It decays and disappears the next morning. Okay, well, that's good. Um, so we're in deployment phase. I've already pretty much deployed. They're coming. All right, so they are coming in from the arrow. Maybe I was completely off base on that one. Um, 
Jess is not going to make it. So maybe it would be better to have her set up her next turn. Or I could ha give her a transfer. Uh, and then she'll get how much movement? Extra move points and then extra damage. You know what? Uh, maybe maybe it would be better if we set up something a bit more interesting. How much move points will she get from transfer? Uh, two move points. Oh, that's a shame because there's a really good position for her. Mm. Can we give? Can we give her two transfers? We probably could. Let's also cheer her. Um, yeah, I think we can give her two transfers. Yeah, this might be ill-advised, but we're going to try it anyway. Because this seems like too good to pass up. So we did stun someone. I saw a little stun there. We'll move her one more and then we'll do um, another stomp. Just to finish these guys off. It didn't finish this guy off. That's fine. Um, this guy's got great movement and he's also got great range. So uh, we don't have to worry too much about him not hitting anyone. I wouldn't mind killing that guy before we, we move on though. Uh, this is now doing 79 to 122 damage. That does. That's not a guaranteed kill, but it's pretty good. We did get lucky. We got the kill. So that's nice. Let's move him over here, and that gives us a little bit of... We, we, it gives us some options if we need to move forward a bit. And we could move forward if we want to do some power shots. But I probably just want to do some, like, Reign of Arrows or, uh... Tight Volleys. Mm, the Tight Volley options are actually not, not super good right now. Oh, that's not bad. Eh, let's let's do one there, then. Nice. And, uh, rather than using up all of our stuff right away, let's just throw out some... Uh, normal shots kill these guys and um, Our lad here his range is not as good and So I may have shortchanged him a little bit Let's see if we can move him over and then we could get some shots off so We'll do like one there one there one there and then like maybe we can get a guaranteed kill. Yeah, there we go uh, And we can even kill that guy with a sword of Democles. Okay, cool perfect um, Jess is going to have some moves left over. That's fine. In the turn, they, they're probably, they're like 100% in threat range right now. So maybe not ideal. And I'm pretty sure um, when they take damage, their, their panic is being increased a little bit. But um, Jess is in like the perfect position right now for some great stomps. And she's stunning some too. But, uh, yeah, let's just, like, wreak havoc. Do some crushes over here. Uh, I say some crushes. What I me meant to say is a one crush. <laughs> um, I'm not a huge fan of what's going on over here. Because there's quite a lot of these baddies over here making their way downtown. Um, okay, so he needs to back up a bit if he wants to use his... Um, Magic missiles. We'll kill that guy. Let's just do like a cross the board magic missile. We could do, we could, yeah, we could do another one of those. Wouldn't be the worst idea ever. Uh, probably we could do something, I don't know, more interesting. I'm a little bit, well, you know what? Let's throw two guys, two on that. This guy seems armored. Ah, we actually got the kill on that. Nice. Is he in range? It doesn't seem to be in range as of right now, but, uh, you know, who knows? Still, I may as well give him the brace because he, he's not in range to, you know, kill anything else. Now, uh, I'm, I have great hope for um, Alicia to, to, to get some nice hits off because we actually have um, some opportunities to use Reign of Arrows to the fullest of its ability. That was amazing. And now we can uh, finish a couple off with Tight Volley. Nice, and we have one skill left. I'd like to kill this guy. I don't think that this will kill him. Actually, it might be better off. Mm. 
we could have her move forward a bit. Does that is that close enough? Yeah, we could power shot this guy just to make sure that we kill him. And um, Jess is actually she she's not like she is in threat range, but she can move back a bit. So that's a pretty good turn. I'm actually uh, I'm pretty happy with how that went. I'm definitely seeing some more opportunities for uh, a rain of arrows here. This is a nice one. Perfect. You won't be missed. Let's uh, it's it's a, like a pun, right? Because she she turned them into mist, right? Is that is that what's happening there? That's that's what's happening there, right? Uh, I don't like R Rigoberto over here. He's he's not he's not good over here. Um, still, we're we're gonna go ahead and just have him do some stuff kill some kill some of these lads rigoberto i think is the um the weak link here for sure he he he's got some skills but they um they're not guaranteed kills most of the time okay so jess needs to move back we could have her there's some actually a really good spot here for her for a stomp so let's do that and that's gonna stun all of them actually you know what it could set up uh if we if we just la leave them there if they're stunned they might actually bottleneck this section a little bit which would be kind of cool um that was a kill we could could does she have any movement left no i i kind of used it up is this guy stunned he is stunned She's in a pretty good position right now. I do. I don't want to just kill this guy. He's his his existence is bothering me. <laughs> um, we could move our friend Alicia forward a little bit and do a tight volley in the back here. Would it not be a terrible idea? Nice. And I guess that's going to do it. Um, let's do let's throw out a crush. Oh, can we do this? Oh, apparently we can. That has a range of motion. I thought that that was like you had to do it two two spaces in front of you, but no, actually, she is in range of of uh, some danger right now. She's she's got some uh, stranger danger coming, but uh, it, it is what it is. You know, this is a, a tough job. You're gonna be taking hits. There's no avoiding it. I'm not. That's that doesn't mean uh you know that's not an excuse for me to never try and avoid um taking damage but it is you know it does mean that I, I you know sometimes i'm gonna put them in the line of fire so that they can get the, the most do the most uh, damage and and uh you know work to the best of their potential this is some good stuff for uh jess she got like the best possible positioning there i think um i'm gonna move rigoberto forward i'm not a huge fan of where he is right now and uh, he is using up all of his mana because basically I think that uh, magic missiles is like the best thing he's got going for him. Uh, which is my kind way of saying I don't think that he's very good right now. We need to get him a better wand. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna not like kill the, um, the ones that are stunned right yet um, because they're basically serving me as a uh, as nice little obstacles uh for for the other zombies and therefore creating a, a tight little bottleneck but uh we'll leave them as is and i think this is pretty good i think rigoberto no rigoberto is actually totally fine in theory uh, all right so actually let's have well we don't need to use any mana up no no sense in wasting mana at this stage because mana really should be reserved for those moments of like oh dang uh you know here they come let's like try and kill as many right away as possible um so it's not a, not a necessarily a good idea to use up all your mana if you can if you can avoid it um actually rigoberto is going to be pretty good in doing cleanup here perfect we took a little bit of damage. We do get a little bit of mana back, which is nice. 
Uh, everyone leveled up, which is good. We lost a little bit of health, but uh, we still got an S rating. So uh, you figure out what the S rating means or how to obtain it. I'm not sure. So the more you protect, seems like the more you protect uh, the town, the more money and materials you're getting, which is nice. And we got some, uh, got an item as well. I actually kind of really like this. Wait, hold on. It determines the reward at the end of the night. Uh, an enemy that isn't stunned spends an entire turn within the haven. Oh, that's that. Oh, okay. So not only do you, do you like, you want to protect the town from destruction, but also the zombies or the mutants, even being in the town creates panic. And no panic means that we get more resources. A little bit of Into the Breach in this game. Just a little bit. Um, something I do appreciate about this is, like, I I've always thought it was very strange in, like, any scenario where you're, like, trying to save the world and then you have to buy items like it seems very odd to me that you're not just like being given items um you know as a as a natural resource like people are like yo, yo my dude do you not understand that i am trying to save your life though kind of kind of odd um but anyway so we have heavy greaves. This is less accuracy, more block daily health regen. Could be good. Better hammer. Um, who's, who uses the hammer? Isn't it uh, Jess? Jess uses a hammer. Uh, this compared to her current hammer is much better. It is rare versus uncommon. So I think that this would be a, a pretty good take. The bash does more damage, which is nice. Um everything does a bit more damage yeah this is this is ideal and increases her dodge not that that matters too much let's go ahead and throw that on her right away uh where oh she's right there could stand to give her a better shield i think while we're at it let's level her up we could give her extra mana not a bad idea extra resistance um Decreases incoming damage. Yeah, you know what? Why not? If it's offering me a nice hefty bonus on resistance, I think that there's nothing wrong with that. Um, extra physical damage, extra healing received. Interesting. Extra experience gained. I like the stun chance. Let's let's double down on stun chance. Um, and let's see. Bodybuilder. Every 10 max health after 100 it equals more physical damage. Interesting. So she's got 50, 150 health right now. That is due to the fact that I've I increased her health. I think that one level up. So this will just, yeah, this, this right here means she'll get plus 5% physical damage. That's a, a really good contender. Every 10% of missing mana equals plus four critical. So right now she's at plus 12 critical. I love this. I love in games, um, any skill that like, kind of synergizes with your um missing attributes or like your your it kind of complements your um having been battle worn a little bit like I, i'm not a huge fan of like things that only work when you're when you're at low health but i love the idea of like skills that work when you're at low resources i think that's actually really cool unlocks the mark skill allowing to debuff the target's dodge um, extra experience gained upgrade the punch skill to crippling punch dealing more damage and allowing the debuff Okay, I mean that's that's fine. Less health, more critical. I th I like this bodybuilder. I think that that's great. Um, plus six mana increases by three for each level of the hero. So we could increase her mana, and then next turn take this like extra critical runes and like just use up as much mana as possible. Basically, it'd be kind of interesting. I like that. Um. Yeah, let's take this bodybuilder. Well, I don't know, actually. You know what? Let's take mana growth. I like this idea. I'll take the... Hmm. I don't know. Let's take let's take the critical runes, because she's gaining plus 12 critical right away, which is nice. It's like a benefit right away versus the... I mean, the damage one is pretty good, too. But it, I'd have to build up into it a little bit. Also, we can um, take some more meta progression. You were at Glintfane, weren't you? I was there and everywhere else. Your physical world doesn't make much sense to me. 
Know that we are doomed to this futile existence for countless cosmic cycles. Will you sell your tainted essence to me, dear? Yeah, probably. Um, so we have a thousand essence now. Uh, I wouldn't mind. Let's just kind of double down on mana for now. I think I could do with some more mana because I know everyone's uh, a little bit mana, mana starved. Uh, definitely, we're gonna use our well. Uh, we could um, we we could dedicate a worker to this. Upgrades Benediction. Oh, we could upgrade it. Oh, nice. So we could upgrade it and then it will offer 12 mana as opposed to 6. Uh, we could probably make use of that right away because right now... Yeah, total 42. They're at 12. Tempting. We need more workers. So let's go ahead and increase our, our house expansion. Um, we can do other ones too. Let's do this one as well. It means we're not going to be able to buy as much equipment, but we're going to be able to use more workers right away. And actually, um, we could probably make some of that money back right away. How many workers do we have? Five. So we could do three and two. Let's go ahead and do that. I like to build for the long game. So we get some of that money back right away. In fact, we could spend some more of that money to also get more workers. It's a kind of a cyclical thing we're doing here. Um, I kind of wouldn't mind doing that. But the thing is, is that we can only get one more worker. So if we were to get one more worker, we can't then, um, you know, salvage one of these things again. So I actually think that probably using... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. One more worker. We could actually make use of that. It's 70 to get 12, but still. It means uh, on our next phase, we're going to have six workers to play with. So, uh, you know, kind of amazing. So we could do... Um, let's... let's mm, yeah, let's uh, give this guy some mana back. Um, I guess I could have upgraded it before i did that but let's reserve a little bit of money for buying equipment a prowess has been accomplished oh has it a new structure can now be built in your haven survive to night two in gildenberg oh fantastic so now uh survive night four in gildenberg is an option it is our next achievement cool um all right so what kind of structure is are, are we looking at now we have, uh, we can build a house. Increases the number of workers you have. Uh, temple. Shop. Our limit to house is four. But, I mean, y yeah. Yeah, house. Yeah, house, though. Can we put this, like, here? We could, like, put this over here. Oh, that's actually ideal. And then we could put another house, like, here. And these are, like, really well defended by... Well, okay, I, I, I'm assuming that, but... I don't trust this business over here. I really feel like they're going to throw some flying units at me. Um, so there is, the, we're, we're, you know, mutants coming at us from both sides here. I think what I'd like to do is um, set up Rigoberto and uh, Jess over here and then set up Alicia maybe on this corner here because they have very good range and also good movement. But uh, don't worry, I'm not setting up yet. I know there's like tons of things left to do here. We gotta we gotta level some some of our characters up. So they could, we can increase their dodge. Extra damage would I mean like come on, uh, that's that's really nice. Uh, extra mana is also tempting because the you know she she does use up a lot of mana. She's very much very mana hungry. Uh, but that damage is just like too tempting not to take. Opportunism. Multiplier added to the damage dealt to targets with negative alterations. Oh, interesting. So, oh, if they're stunned, for instance, they'll take more damage. Um, let's go with re reliability, actually. I think that, um, I mean, it's, obviously, it's, you know, uh, getting that uncommon benefit. But also, I think that she, her range of damage is the most violent. Like, it's like 75 to 120, and there's a big range there um so what does she have spiky counter 
whenever the hero is hit automatically cast no she can also take critical runes which is great for her because i'm going to be using a lot of mana uh and then she'll be doing more critical chance and lux mark skill crippling punch quick reload allowing to restore one use to all the skills of the current weapon set uh interesting but i don't think that she has enough um action points to really make use of this to be honest like uh, the best case scenario i suppose is it means like i could use you know rain uh of arrows twice which is actually not a bad idea weapon restoration hmm extra experience i'm gonna go over this critical runes I, I think it's it's a cool idea um let's also level up a rigoberto extra critical i think that he just needs like extra damage we need to get him a better wand i'm going to increase um hmm, critical It's it's just too tempting not to go with one of these uncommons. It's a really it really does like fire off like all of my like a, a gambling potential, you know. Like it's just like ah, it's green. It's so much better. Um, I guess I'll go with critical. This is crit chances of an attack dealing critical. Okay, so this is critical chance and not critical damage. That's fine. All right, critical. I I tend to not do critical, but sure. Um, well, we may as well increase critical power as long as we're increasing his critical chance. And then let's look at perks. Damage is increased by 30% of the hero's current mana. Oh, that's interesting. So he would benefit from having more mana. Every four enemies killed, including poison kills, plus one daily mana regen. You know what? Sure. That seems like an obvious choice for him. And he's not, he's the only hero now that is not benefiting from, uh, missing from missing mana i'm trying i'm gonna try not to like you know i, I don't want to like do this thing where i have to try and remember everyone's skill and everyone you know what everyone has but uh oh we definitely could use a better wand but this one doesn't actually look all that much better what's the deal how is it better sort of democles novice wand versus novice wand this one's uncommon oh uh, how is it how is it different it looks exactly oh plus seven percent reliability okay so it's like 76 to 101 instead of 74 oof oof that is uh truly not not worth it i think yeah it's like that's that is really bad cracked crystal plus 13 percent isolation not sure I, I would like to get a bit more understanding on how oh plus 17 percent stun could be cool um obviously this bow is tempting but i don't have enough money that's my bad you know i i did that i did that let's let's grab this crack skull maybe i don't know i need to i need to know better how the uh, isolation works let's like you know what let's just not buy anything how about that um, and then I would like to, we still have one worker left. Reinforced wooden wall. I'm going to just build more wooden walls. I did not mean to do that. It's fine. This is, uh, this is, this is, this looks fine. Yeah, I, I, I like this. We can upgrade walls, which is kind of nice. We still have one more worker. Um, we can assign them to this and get some money back. Nice. And I think that means we can build some more walls. Yeah, it does. There. Perfect. All right. Um, our friend Jess is a little bit damaged, but they're not wounded yet. At least I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think they're wounded yet. So that means that they're not receiving any debuff. Okay, let's uh, let's move on to the next phase. Position your hero, Jess. Yeah. She's pretty much exactly where she needs to be. End phase. They're always right on time, aren't they? Okay, see, I, I am right about the fact that uh, they, the, the arrow does not indicate necessarily um, exactly where they're going to come in. So we're going to move our friend over here. And uh, 
I uh, I have a bit bit of a, a bigger incentive to try and get kills with him now. Ooh, nice. Uh, that actually worked out perfectly because now we can get some. Uh, we can kill those three guys off, and he's gonna get some more mana regen from that. Now I'm a little bit concerned about Jess here. Jess is not in a great position. I think it would be a not a terrible idea to actually pass on her turn because she's her positioning is not good. If she gets too close, then she's just going to be taking damage that she can't really do much about. So I'll have her evade just on the off chance things go badly here, but I'm going to actually just let them come to us a bit. Oh, shoot. I didn't I didn't do uh, Alicia's turn. Dang. Oh, OK, let's let's do her first this time. We have these uh these these ranges. I think that tells us like how yeah, this is like how um for sure the enemy is going to be able to dodge her attacks, which is an, a nice a bit of conveyance. I always appreciate um when a game does stuff like that. Okay, let's move her forward and she's going to do two power shots to take out these two guys. I think she should be able to take out this entire right. Like she should be able to handle this whole right side. Nice crit. All right. Um, so let's, uh, well, first of all, let's do a bash. Oh man, that didn't kill him. Okay. Well, we'll move, we'll move him back a bit and then we'll fire off some more magic missiles. And then, uh, again, we can use sort of demand. Okay. You know what? Um, I take it back. Robert, Rigoberto is is actually pulling his weight now. Okay, we'll kill him and um, let's. I'm gonna use this now just so I don't forget to use it, and then I'm gonna move her really up in the front line here. We're gonna kill this lad, and I'm gonna throw a crush out there just to do some extra damage. Um. And in fact, what we could do is move her over there and do another crush. I don't think that did anything, but that's fine. Uh, and I think we're good. Yeah, I, I, you can take a quick glance in the top right corner and that tells you how much like action points everyone else has. So yeah, she they, the, both of those missed, which is great. So now she can do some stomps. Don't worry, I'm not going to forget about uh, Alicia to the right there. Okay, so she stunned all those lads. So that means that we have an opportunity to use her elsewhere. Let's go ahead and kill this lad. Yep. Nice. Nice kill. Uh, we'll move her over here and get another kill. Nice. Perfect. Um, Rigoberto. Let's uh, throw out some magic missile. Ooh, ooh, nice. Two kills. Now these guys here, they're new. Splitter. They have some armor and they have 216 health. They, they are, um, they're, they're deserving of two magic missiles each, I think. Yeah, because I, I still didn't kill them. Um, let's kill some of these guys in the front lines here. We still have a bash. Apparently he can use this even, yeah, it doesn't cost him any action points. So that's good to know. Um, Alicia still has some, uh, moves left. She has one move left. I think what I'd like to do with her, let's uh, let, let's have her do her dodge again and then move her closer to Rigoberto over here. We'll have to move, swap Rigoberto back on the right when these guys come off their stun. Now, Alicia, you have not taken your turn yet. Let's do, um, could do like a tight volley. I wish she was like sideways. That'd be kind of kind of much better in a way, if you if you get what I mean. Um, so we'll throw a tight volley. Could do, um, I kind of want to like really prioritize this guys. This isn't a bad rain of arrows. Could be better. Didn't kill him still. So we'll, we want to make sure that, that whatever that is, is dead. Cause I, I have fear the worst. Um, all right. So does this only, yeah, it's just increased damage. We definitely want to use that. It doesn't use, it doesn't require any action points. So. 
Like, it's just a good thing. Nice. That dodge is really, really working out. So those guys over there, they're no longer stunned. Worth noting. Um, we could do a stomp. No, that stomp's not going to work as, as much as you'd hope. Let's do a cheer. I wonder if you can cheer yourself. Probably not, huh? Oh, he's out of mana. Yeah. That he is out of mana. Okay. So that's that's what I get for uh, using being aggressive with that magic missiles. Really want to ensure that that guy dies. It seems like the armor. Um, I, I feel like the armor regenerates each turn. So if like if you actually get through that that armor, you really need to uh, maybe like prioritize killing it. If that's the case, because I, I these guys have taken damage, meaning I went out of my way to do to to like hurt them, and yet they have full armor, right? So you really you really need to prioritize killing them. Um, worth worth noting. I should I might be able to kill them here if I get a critical. Yes, perfect. And um, we'll kill this guy too. And then I'd like to move up forward here and then do a stomp. Again to hopefully create a bottleneck and in fact if we can go over here. Oh, we can't we can can't we don't have enough for another stomp shoot That's fine. Um Let's just set up that evasion again and then uh, move her back It's pretty good uh, Alicia you haven't taken your turn yet Almost forgot actually Let's do a couple of power shots just to ensure these guys up front die um and then we'll do well this guy's got all right, we, normal shot should be good enough for them we can kill this guy too probably yep um we might be able to kill this guy but oh we got lucky nice so that's gonna ensure that she is safe she's doing an okay job but um definitely things are kind of spicy over here All right, things things are, are uh, mm, you know, mm, mm. okay. Let's do a couple of power shots just off the bat. Um, kind of wouldn't mind. Hmm. If I was like sideways, I almost like I feel like she should be like here, and then she could be lining up some better tight volleys, because right now these tight volleys are really bad. So maybe we could do that actually. Oh, let's um she might end up taking a bit of damage here because of you know her, her range, but I think that oh that was that was not ideal. I actually cancel that. Maybe can we move here instead? That is better. Okay, that is better. Let's do that. And um she has one action point left. So let's move her a little bit over here and then Maybe she can get one more kill. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Well, I mean, it's anything but fine, but you know, uh, let's set up some stuff over here. Actually, can we cheer her? Yeah, we should probably always cheer her if, if we can. Um, this isn't bad. Why don't we do a crush instead? take that and we'll do another crush over here what i'd like to do is uh as they say do a like kind of a bottleneck just to just to make me make them have to walk around i guess some of these guys were almost dead that was actually not good i shouldn't have should not have done that because we wasted we pretty much wasted the uh the move and it didn't you know it didn't it wasn't very effective so okay lesson learned um we're out of magic missiles we are out of magic missiles you know what let's uh can we do a transfer on jess let's do a transfer on jess because she's not in a good position right now and she could stand you know what let's just give her evasion and um yeah that's not bad uh, and then we want to we want to just like throw out some damage 
what I'll do is I'll, I'll throw some damage in and do a, use a bash on this guy. That's actually not a terrible turn. Okay, that's one kill. Um, I just I need to get kills right now. Nice, that was actually perfect. And then we'll throw it a bash. That's another kill. Amazing. I'm pretty sure he's gonna have like a full bar of mana uh, on uh, uh, on the recovery, which is really good. Everyone's uh, done, used up all their action. A uh, sun, red sun rises. What? So she got hit despite her evasion. That's fine. You know, uh, something that always bothers me in a games like is oh evasion bonus or dodge bonus is you don't really un see the effects of it. You know, it's like it's always kind of like like um, hit or miss. Like, yeah, is it actually working? Um, but I do appreciate uh, so far in this game, it has not really been a question. Um, it, it is very clearly working, you know, so Oh, man, she can't move. She doesn't have enough movement That's a uh, i'm gonna have to note that also I should have cheered her but I didn't that's fine Let's move her over and i'm actually i'm gonna crush over here Because then even if they kill that one the the this guy is still blocking this so this is this is good um she's not in the range of of uh damage right now she does however have a lot of um action points that she's not using i wonder if we could get like one more crush yeah we could that's actually not terrible and then we'll we'll use another evasion she's uh she is now wounded by the way so her move her move points are decreased ah uh, we have another big bad over here um pending which is not great um yeah this is not ideal what's uh okay hmm i'm thinking if we move like here yeah we have a much better angle on things we could do a tight volley here i feel like a tight volley there would be a like something we should do or at least let's see what the rain of arrows looks like over there not great if i'm being honest yeah it's actually awful that's not bad but i really want to get the um the dude the the the, the big bad uh, this actually for rain is really good so let's let's do that and then we'll do a tight volley over there um that'll leave her with one skill point left which you know, wouldn't it be nice if we could hit that guy? So I actually, I think it would be worth her step, taking a step forward and hitting this guy. And that did get the kill. I, she's going to take a hit, but honestly, she's, you know, she's been relatively out of the line of fire so far. Um, oh, I almost ended the turn, but Rigoberto hasn't actually taken any of his turn yet. So let's, let's do that. First of all, let's throw this bash out there. Just to get it out of the way um and then we can maybe get a couple of extra kills for him let's move him one over to the right get that kill over there and then move him back uh well can we undo that actually mm, there's not really oh that is actually a good place for him well that's weird okay i get it it's because um he he was actually stopping the movement of one of the zombies so when i move him their threat range actually increases so he's probably going to take a hit that's fine the one i'm actually mostly worried for is uh jess he actually got he missed uh alicia took some damage so let's go ahead and use him first we'll, we'll do some uh basic stuff we can move him uh back and we'll We'll just throw out some some basic attacks um do a little bit of cleanup nice um we'll do a cheer for jess to make just to make sure that she's getting everything she needs and we'll give her a transfer as well because she is uh she's got that impeded movement then we'll throw it a crush kill that guy there uh i think we can take out the rest with a stomp it is uh, using up some mana, but it actually helps her, remember, because she gets some more critical damage. Now, over here, things are a little bit less... Well, they're, they're fine, actually. We can use a couple of these power shots just to take out the higher health goons, and then the last dude there is going to be easy peasy. So, that was actually pretty good. 
everyone levels up um and no one no panic was a uh, cause so we're gonna get the full benefits more money more materials more items i i i uh kind of uh, dread when this game gets like really difficult um and uh i have to kind of like weigh the pros and cons of how much like how many buildings are going to get destroyed versus how many heroes are going to die oh god okay well that's that's something so we could dedicate workers to these to uh gain gold materials and tainted essence so that's um over there is okay one item oh or items and tainted essence that's kind of interesting so that one is a big pile there we probably want to use that and this one is a big pile but these ones we're gonna get less yeah so i would think i'd say it's probably less worth um like using them if they're not a, a not a big pile um this uh this video has been an hour and 15 minutes and i am really enjoying this i would like to do more i don't know if maybe this next wave is like the final one um I don't know like it's it's not uh it's not something I, I i really have much knowledge on i don't know if there's like like we can complete this uh town before our wizard says like they're done welcome to the oracle oracle um why should i trust you is a good question because we are living the end of the world together aren't we so we should help each other and because i am nice of course i highly doubt that I don't need your doubts, dear. I need your utter devotion to slaughter our foes. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Who knows when you'll need a caress? Caress? Scavenger camp. A new structure can now be built in your haven. Generate some materials every production phase. Additional materials can be generated with the help of workers. That's kind of nice. Um, kind of want to prioritize, like, getting these done. Because it's just like an immediate benefit. Uh, we have 700... We have, sorry, 400 left. We could buy Tome of Secrets. Sure, let's get Tome of Secrets. New items can now be accessed. Um, and we'll... Do we have, did we complete anything over here? Survive Night 4 in Gildenberg. Several runs. New items can now appear in your runs. Requirements. Spend, spend 200 action points casting skills provided by hammers. Okay, this is cool. So these are like uh, long-form long kind of endurance achievements that unlock new stuff for you. I, 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 I can appreciate that. It's just like, you know, rewards for playing the game, basically. Um, uh, what I'll do is I'll set up our next phase and then maybe... Maybe I'll call the video there because I, I like I don't want to necessarily put up a two hour long video. Oh, oh, okay. So she giving her even more health. She gets that one thing, right? Was it? Oh, I didn't really use this fatality. I really should have uh, figured that out. Um, yeah, every 10 max health after 100. Okay, let's let's grab that. I know I know we we took this critical rune, so probably mana growth would be really good for her. But um, this is also really good because we can gain quite a lot of health right away. And then we're going to go ahead and take Bodybuilder. And that's going to give her uh, plus 10% physical damage. Is just really nice. Um, daily mana regen is tempting for her. But we're going to be using mana. Yeah, and you know what? We're going to be... Oh, oh here, here's, the, um, here's what isolation does. Multiplier applied to the damage dealt to isolated targets. Interesting. Okay, so it doesn't... Yeah, no, unit with no adjacent ally. Oh, that's what isolated means. Now, does I, I always need like further? I always need further explanation here. Does that mean no none of my allies or none of their allies? Right. Um, I'm assuming it means their ally, which this comes up not very often. So I actually don't think that this is very useful for me right now. I like the uh, daily mana regen. I'm gonna take that because you know I, even though I benefit from like i get more criticals depending on how um you know how much mana i've used she's gonna be using mana we're gonna we're gonna have missing mana it's fine we don't have to like um like what's the, um what's the word 
I can't remember. We don't have to like create a situation where she has missing mana because it's already going to happen. Uh, ooh, extra action points. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, for Alicia? Oh, yeah. That's that's an easy take. More momentum. Modifier, modifier applied to the damage per tile. Only affects skills with the momentum effect. Uh, does she have ones with momentum effect? Um, range damage is inaccurate, increasing the target's dodge. I don't think that she... I don't think anything she has has a momentum effect. So I don't think that, that this is very helpful. And I don't think that it, stun chance is going to work for her. I don't know. Chance to apply stun, preventing any action for the entire turn. I don't know. Maybe it would. It, it would be really cool if she could stun with her, like, ranged attacks. Right now it's at zero percent. I don't know. Let's uh, let's give it a go. Let's give it a chance. Perks now. Um, mana growth I think would be really good. So let's let's just give her. I think she just give her mana growth. Honestly, you know what? Quick reload is going to be really good for her. Now that she has more action points, I think that this would be ideal for her because she that means she can use um, her volleys like multiple times. Uh, and then we still have to do Rigoberto. Rigoberto could have more block, flat reduction, a portion of incoming damage. Uh, more criticals. I think this guy is heavy on the criticals. Harvester, maybe not. I think this is actually the only one that's not uh, heavy on the criticals. So why don't we just give him more mana? Let's give him more mana. Because that's just like, you know, good. More stun chance or more experience gained. Isolation for him would actually be really good since he has a lot of uh, flexibility for who he attacks. So he could, we could have him like fo hone in on the isolated enemies and doing more damage. Damage is increased by 30% of the hero's current mana. So we just gave him some more mana. So actually, this is like really nice. Uh, magic fuel. This seems like a, an obvious take for him. Yeah, let's take that. Okay, so that's our heroes leveled up. Let's take our nightly item gain. Male uh, coif, coif. <laughs> Extra damage, critical power. This seems like a really good one. Oh, heck yeah, a, a new wand. Oh my God, yes, absolutely. Easy take. I know the coif, you know, is, is, is good, but my God. We, we've needed a better wand for our buddy Roberto. Not Roberto, sorry. A Rigoberto. What a, what a name, honestly. Um, Now we have seven workers to deal with. Let's, first of all, let's scavenge a couple more of these guys. Um, and don't worry. Like, I know it's, it's a lot of uh, workers we're spending, but we're about to build some more stuff. construction we're gonna build some houses let's build a house here we can also uh well okay how much does it cost to build a house oh we've reached we've reached the limit of that okay so um why don't we upgrade this house it only costs 40. this one also costs 40 so we'll improve that one as well so now we have five more workers to work with we could destroy this, but I actually really do think that we should start work, you know, using the workers instead of just like using the workers to make more workers. I definitely think we should get some of these, um, scavenge some of these piles because we get some money, we get some materials, we get some essence. It's all very good stuff. Over here, we could grab an item maybe. Salvages one item and 27 tainted essence. Yeah, let's grab an item. Why not? Free item. Uh, these items are not particularly good. Tome of Secrets. Base damage. Magic damage ignores half of the target's resistance. We could give this to um, Rigoberto, maybe. Uh, and then, like, I don't know what, what these skills are, but they seem... They could be cool. This is an offhand weapon. Two hands. Oh, okay. That's kind of a problem. So range 2 to 10. Target's 1. 
range two to ten targets one limit to two chains a portion of damage as well as potential negative alterations applied by the skill to a random adjacent unit some really cool stuff here i wouldn't mind trying this but um i don't know if it's as good as what we just gave rigoberto and considering i wasted well not wasted but i used up a skill i think this oh that we already have a rusty shield sword i don't know all right let's uh let's put and pick um uh, pick up rigoberto i like that it just shows you what kind of the, like the weapons they have and their value it helps to clarify things a bit so right away the wand is just better i think it's just better because we also get the bash and yeah this wand this is the wand is just like straight up better i don't think that these items were particularly worth worthwhile we could see uh if maybe what's her name jess did we get a better shield no we didn't it's the same shield i could have compared before i picked it up but honestly i don't i didn't really feel like taking that sword since her hammer is better let's look at some new uh wands we do have a wand new items uh this wand is not as good as the one we just took negative 27 percent experience gain but we get strong focus oh i see plus two action points interesting forgoing experience for action points is a really interesting idea um let's look at can we get alicia a better bow no that short bow is actually better than this which is kind of oh wait a minute maybe not no it is it just straight up is better but this one offers 25 armor uh that's kind of tempting actually because it's not much worse than what she's using but having plus 25 armor kind of nice um honestly it would be a good idea to grab some actual armor oh maybe maybe not just can't use this right no she can plus one move points extra damage magic damage and extra mana might be better for rigoberto rigoberto is currently using light armor with critical power so um uh, i kind of like what he's got actually um i don't think that i can buy anything that would really make a sizable difference and and i think that keeping that gold would actually be better overall because we could use it to um like for for one thing we could use it to uh, get some mana back uh upgrades restore mana 8 to 12 restore mana like yeah let's uh definitely get some mana gains plus six max mana to the target hero so like right away uh, it's pretty good um let's upgrade benediction and um i think we would like to re upgrade restore mana as well and sure you know what let's uh, upgrade gift i mean what what else um is like we could we could build something right construction what can we build temple permanently increases max health to all heroes every production phase i mean that's not a bad thing or we could build another mana well we can apparently have two of those let's build a temple um because i definitely think like first of all i'm pretty sure at least one of our heroes benefits from that in a damage sense so we can restore some health first of all to uh jess she could definitely use that um use one uses per production phase grants plus 24 max health to the target hero let's just confirm that um she is the one that uh benefits from that yeah she has bodybuilder so giving her extra max health is definitely gonna be good but we aren't done yet we have one more worker left grant six max mana to target hero um i think it would be better to restore ma mana for all heroes Let's go ahead and do that. And then we can restore even more mana. So let's give it to Rogoberto. We're going to get the full use of that mana. And that's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty content with all of that. Um, we'll definitely want to build some more structure, or, you know, walls and stuff. Um, I'm a little bit worried about what we're about to face. Kind of wish there was an easier way to upgrade stuff i wonder if there is and i'm not seeing it so like if we go to build some defenses 
what if I was to just do reinforce wall on top? Yeah, okay, that's that's a much easier way of doing that. So we'll just like reinforce the wall on this side and you know like reinforce walls as we need them. I'm really tempted to just go forward and uh you know like do the next part. Uh, I'm really enjoying this game. It's just a, like a lot of fun. Um I don't think that there's anything else I need to do, but I am going to end the episode here. It's an hour and a half video. Wow. Um, so maybe join me on the next episode where I, I take on an, a huge horde and we'll see where things go and maybe see if I can, uh, if I've built things up properly. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.